Those people you've just seen have all lost someone close to them. A relative, a colleague, a friend. Lost in mysterious circumstances, sudden and Hello friends and followers of the Exit of Phoenix. Um, back in 2007 I saw a little newspaper clipping in the Express and Echo that said Cash for Films, which instantly got my attention. And it was an advert for the Exit of Phoenix's Green Light Commission. Uh, the resulting film, uh, Scarecrow, led to the beginning of a long and fruitful uh, relationship with the Exit of Phoenix and I have been a uh, supporter and teacher at the Exit of Phoenix ever since. So I've long considered the Exit of Phoenix as being very much integral to um, my kind of rebirth as a, as a filmmaker. My name is Ashley Thorpe, and I'm the director of Bawley Rectory. So why Bawley Rectory? Well, um, it was a story that I discovered back in the late 70s. Um, a place which, in terms of my obsessions and interests, I'm starting to wonder whether I ever really left. Uh, it was in the Osborne Book of Ghosts, which I borrowed from Exeter Library. Uh, so there's the power of reading right there. Um, and the story never really went away. Partially because of that moniker, the most haunted house in England. Um, which I thought was a fascinating idea, that this was the Mount Everest of haunted houses. Um, and also because the ghost story itself is absolutely replete with very kind of gothic archetypes. All the ghosts are very much kind of gothic archetypes in a way. You know, nuns and headless coachmen and monks, all that kind of wonderful, wonderful material. Uh, but also it was the beginning of an era wherein ghost stories were starting to be tackled by scientific investigation. And that always that, that kind of really stuck with me. And I think as I got older, I started to really wonder why this particular story, that had obviously gone on to influence so many other things, like uh, uh, The Haunting of Hill House and things like that, and um, Richard Matheson's Hell House. And I wondered why no one ever really tackled it. It's a funny looking film. Uh, the reason for that, it wasn't an archly kind of stylistic conceit at all. The, the style of the film felt very natural. Um, there were a couple of reasons for that. One, I wanted to use contemporary photographs of Bawley Rectory, which are obviously quite grainy, um, a wonderful kind of age look about them, uh, and they were all black and white. So I wanted, I wanted to create a film which matched the, the pictures. And also, the other thing I was trying to investigate was um, I've always been fascinated by spirit photography and, and photographs of ghosts. Because whether or not you believe that the photographs have actually captured a spirit, they're often beautiful images anyway. Uh, that are made more fascinating by the fact that they they hide or hint at something in the frame as much as they reveal it. And for a while, I, I, when people were asking me what I was aiming to do, you know, what, what my angle was with Bawley Rectory, uh, I would baffle them by, <laughs> by saying that it was an ultrasound of a haunting. And by that I, I meant partially because... Um, the birth of my little girl was very much on my mind. Uh, but also, it was this, it was this notion of, um, the wonderful thing about ultrasound photography is that you don't initially know what you're looking at. It, it's, a, it's almost an abstract, and then, and then something moves, and then you realize that you're looking at a face or a hand. 
and which I felt it would be interesting to try and tackle a ghost story in that way that you you put all the pieces together and you don't signpost it you know, th this is Bawley Rectory is not your uh, Blumhouse James Wan type of ghost story it couldn't be further from it in fact uh, because the, the scares aren't really signposted it's um in fact, if anything, the, the film almost looks at a haunting from the point of view of the ghosts in the house. And it's not the ghosts invading a comfortable family space. It's almost as if the haunting exists and it's people that keep invading it. You know? I really hope you enjoy the film. Ashley Thorpe has spent a long time creating this, uh, this very ethereal film, which I hope that you're going to enjoy. This evening, we met um, on uh, Grinder, Tinder, Twitter, and uh, it was a there was a poster of Bali Rectory that uh, the, the then proposed Bali Rectory that uh, Ashley was going to hopefully make one day, and I tweeted him back saying I thought it was a great poster and, and good luck with it. And then the next thing is I'm asked to be a little part of it, and uh, here we are. And I am only a little part of it. The, this film really is all down to Ashley's perseverance and um, his, his quite brilliant um, skill at, at, at sort of creating these images that you sort of never feel, you feel like you haven't really seen them before. It's There's something really ethereal about the film and uh, the experience, it's an immersive experience. It's part documentary, part, you know, sort of installation in a weird way. It feels very ghost-like and, you know, by the end you do feel quite literally haunted. So I hope you enjoy and uh, have a great night.